is Richard, you're watching Bison TV. From three blind mice to a bunch of buzzing bees, it was also a night for the Sherfield School Basingstoke Bison to introduce two young members of the herd as Kyle Goddard on the right and Paul Petts made their debuts for the club as the Bracknell Bees hope to end the host's impressive recent form in the only game of the weekend. However, the Bison were on the stampede in the early going, with Thomas Karpov going extremely close to finding the back of the net. Those on the DJ box may have thought it had gone in, but our Barracuda Network's replay showed it was Pike and only Pike that the puck found, as the scores remained level. But very soon after, it would be sticks in the air time, as Vanya Antonov continued his impressive streak by tipping in the first of the night. Probably best we roll out the Barracuda Network's replay for this one, just to see the skill needed to deflect the puck home over the blocker of Alex Metham. The Bees will be given a chance to get back into the game soon after with a power play opportunity. But in the end, it would be the Herd handed a golden chance to double their advantage as Antonov raced away. No doubt in referee Tim Pickett's mind, a penalty shot awarded. If you disagreed with that call, well, there was a referee's course in Guildford at the weekend. The guide dogs for the blind were also holding a fundraising event too. Either way, it would be Antonov up against Metam in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Let's just leave the Barracuda Network's replay rolling for yet another mighty fine finish. And the goals just kept on coming as the Bison were very much on the charge. Rene Yarolin doing his best to get around the Bees' defence before the puck worked its way back to Matowalski who fired in the strike. Immediately, a few of the Bees were a little upset to find the goal awarded. Metham leading the protests, and as with our Barracuda Network's replay, it might be easy to see why. However, he should probably be having a word with his own D-man there. Even Donald Trump's press secretary couldn't make that one stick, or is it just an alternative fact he's willing to offer Mr Pickett? 3-0 at the end of the first. Some slick moves, if I say so myself, on the sideline to start the second. And also in net for the Bison as Thomas Hielowski turned defence into attack. With Derek Rail letting one fly at Metham, only to see the shot fly past the post. In reality, it was a night of very few chances for the Bees. The Bison D holding resolute and firm at one end. Springing surprises at the other, again Rail just unable to find the net, the scoreline staying the same at the end of the period. <laughs> the 
Into the third and it was all about hand-eye coordination in the early stages as René Yarlin put up the Bison's fourth. A Barracuda Network's replay from behind the goal showing what a clever little finish this one was. And we're not going to see it only once, the tiniest of gaps proving the difference. And if that goal was all about skill, then this one came down to guts and determination. Grant Rounding charging his way directly through the middle, and by never giving up on a puck, he would be rewarded with the fifth of the night. All that was left on the evening was for Thomas Hidlowski to confirm the shutout and another weekend of maximum points for the Stampede.